Up next is the Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors game. Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors, alright. Oh god, that looks terrible. <laughs> this logo does not it? this logo does not fill me with confidence, I'll say that much. <laughs> Elliot is confirming our suspicions. Oh dear. Yeah, when you can tell the game is bad just by looking at its logo. That's a bad game. Wait, what? <laughs> the handle of your katana comes out of your wrist, and then you pull a sword out. But then... Where is the... Oh my! Oh my! That's one pissed off lizard man. And he's fighting a really muscular data from Star Trek. <laughs> Screw the controllers! I don't care. <laughs> oh dear lord! Really? Oh wow! Really? There are two ladies. One is some sort of half cat girl, half elf thing, and the other one is wearing nothing but leather. I don't even care anymore. You you chose the uh, black data. Yep. His name is Get Done. Seriously, Get Done. <laughs> I wow. like how even the, the, the game oh doesn't know what it's saying. Oh my god, this is horrible. <laughs> oh my lord. This is... Oh, The characters are made out of freaking rock. They are so slow. <laughs> you have no idea. They are, seriously, he's barely responding to my button presses. There's like a half second delay between button press and action. Oh my god, this is bad. Strangely, your opponent doesn't seem to be having a problem. Yeah, he seems to be pulling them out pretty well. Well, I tried all the standards, but no fireballs yet, so I guess maybe Gitterdun doesn't have one. Nope. Lumberjack says his full name is Get R Done Esquire. <laughs> okay then. Wow, well, yeah, basically, though. Look at his shoes! What the hell is he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> G Dun, you are the most terrible character. Let's play as Rolf instead. Rolf sounds like a buddy. Oh, you yeah, he's raring. He's raring to go. He has plenty of self-confidence. Oh my god. He's a space hero. <laughs> oh, older brother of Zap Brannigan. It reminds me more of the hero guy from the Disgaea game. <laughs> oh god, yes. And this guy actually has both sliding special kicks and a fireball. So he is basically completely superior to Gitterdun in every way. Way to balance your game there, guys. According to Elliot, Gitterdun was supposed to be a grapple guy. Yeah, well, he did have a couple of grapple attacks. The thing is, just, you know. Grappling is sort of useless when the AI is flitting around like a butterfly and shooting you, like a bee. 
Oh, wait. And you're moving the speed of slow molasses. I like when they just slam into one another at the same time. Oh. You know what? Let's play as the ninja. It takes a ninja to kill a ninja. Uh, buddy, you got a horn on your head. You might wanna. Well, you might wanna that. get that looked at. Yeah. Oh my the god. The first ever brony. <laughs> he went too far. So he basically has an attack that. Creates fire underneath your feet wherever you are. That's balanced. There's one thing I love it's instant hit attacks that come from below because Jesus Christ. I seem to be moving noticeably slower than the AI does when it's playing as this character for some reason. I wonder what's up with that. I like that this is just the first guy, too. It presumably gets a lot harder from here. I also can't help but notice that what was a 3 hit attack when it was landed on me earlier just flings this guy away on the first hit instead here. Hmm. I think this is the closest you've gotten to kind of tying. Yep. Well, screw you too, horny. <laughs> Alright, let's play as the obvious nerd bait instead. The furry. Boing, boing, boing. The only part of her that's actually animated. Your sorceress. It doesn't really work. Sorry. Jami Amadeus says if you beat Alven, you still have to face Simon and Theodore. Oh shit. God damn it. This girl is apparently a complete melee character as well. She has no fireballs, which really doesn't work against a character that is all fireballs. Yeah, if you're gonna punch people, you really shouldn't wear giant furry things on your hands. <laughs> For a moment he just stood there and stared, completely dazzled. <laughs> The boo mesmerizer attack. Seriously, you could use those things as a metronome. Does he keep saying his name over and over as he's attacking? I'm not entirely sure, but it definitely sounds like it. Wow, that was some amazing knockback there. 
Which is terrible, because I'm a melee character. If anything, I want the enemy <laughs> to remain close to me at all times. Why do you even do such a thing? Well, I think you're gonna win! Woohoo! Barely won, but you did it anyway! Now do it again! Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Welcome to the third round, asshole. Prepare to die. Still though, I seem to have figured out how to play this character. Basically pressure, 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 pressure. And never do anything else and just randomly punch and kick. Constantly. Oh shit. You seem to be doing pretty well. Die the kick. You got beat by a girl. Ah ha ha, KO, alright. The only reason I'm wearing these ridiculous gloves is so that people will not notice that my tits are literally five times the size of my hands. <laughs> and apparently it was a shame to defeat it by such an innocent... Something. He, he, even he doesn't know. Okay. Well, I hate my dad because I'm the uh, cool teenage girl character, so screw you. By default, I have daddy issues. Wow. Okay, yeah, uh, here we go. Wow. Really? That thing has hit frames throughout the entire animation, so you can literally do it over you and then you stand up into the attack and go back down again. Oof. Jesus. Talk, talk about counter wake up game. Yeah, sure, I'll just literally stand here and do this attack, and that will kick your ass. Period. And it does hilarious amounts of damage, too. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. So it's basically an attack that has longer range than my melee attacks. It has hit frames throughout the entire animation, does shitloads of damage, and has knocked back. Huh. Your hands are tiny, by the way, Rolf. Seriously. <laughs> well, this is a franchise, I can see why it didn't ever take off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stage two. Rub it in. What the hell do you? Just rub it in. Seven uh. whole minutes there. <laughs>